Hi, today <coughs> we're going to sport out speed fighters, which I seem to always do. But we've got jobs on today. All right, here we go. 2005. This is a water cooled version. And if you ever wonder what that is doing here, it's because you haven't got a water cooled version. That's where the water cooled one goes. All right, if you find a blue plug, it's because it's ready for water cooled. And if you haven't got water cooled, it's obsolete, but Peugeot still have the same loom. Okay, this one came back to me. This is my daughter's a long time ago. This was. Um, it ran, it does 50 miles an hour. Water cooled are always, always faster, but they have their problems. Okay, engines go. This one, however, is the engine bearing, which I think I've shown you before. This one here. And to tell you how it goes, you can see there, there's the missing bits, basically. You just get a grinding noise all the time. It will run, but you get a grinding noise, and that's because of this. The ball bearings have gone out of it, and it grinds. Eventually, the seals will go, and the bikes won't run no more. So this needs a complete engine rebuild. So water out, um, engine out really. I, mean, I might try it half on, half off, I don't know. This is a water cooled one, so I've got to do all the um, gaskets on this one. Um, piston's still good on this, great compression. And it runs, it just sounds like a bucket of <laughs> nails, basically. So that's that one. So sim well, not a simple job, but I know what to do with this one. Number two, um, this one, front end rebuild. Um, there's the new bits for it. Uh, air filter, um, indicator, switch. This one here is the wrong switch. It's got a light version. Well, 2005, it didn't have that. So, connector, wrong connector. So, I'll put another one that I've got here. Luckily, I've got a little wealth of parts under here. Bits and bobs, panels. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Um, having extra parts for these bikes really, really helps. Um, I didn't pay hardly anything for this. It's got a nice, shiny pipe on it. Um, Come a fella who thinks he knows a lot about bikes. Um, and at the end of the day, I'm always up for anyone saying they know a lot more bikes than me. Um, although I do just as many as probably many other people. If you think you know more than me, that's fine. But anyway, this one is, is a rebuild um, for just plastics. Um, the engine runs, I've had it running. 2005, it needs carburetor cleaned and all the little bits and bobs that I've got to fix on this one. So that's a complete engine rebuild. This one is just plastics. Clean the carburetor out. And my old favourite. I've a video on this one. Um, the white one. Yeah, he, he killed it. Basically, this one is a non water cooled. So it's air cooled. And he's knackered the um, engine seals on this one. Um, so all, all seals, crank seals, engine seals, whatever you want to call them. So, to be honest with you, it was everything I touched on this wanted to snap and break. So, sometimes easy to say. That engine's dead, and I've got another one. So this comes with a little vintage pipe already on it. Lovely back tyre. I've done a compression test on this one already. The variator is good in this one. So basically, this one is going to be a donor. Engine out, and obviously I'll put this one in. Now this engine bearings are good in here. So what I'm going to actually do is take the engine bearings out of this one and put them in the um, the black one, and see how they go. The seals are gone, but engine bearings haven't. Now I have got some more little parts here and again I did say you have to have parts and I've got my drawer of parts um, there's some new engine seals um, I've got a head there a valve a bit some bobs uh, reads to say so what I'm going to do is when I take I'm going to start on the white one first swap engine get that one running and sorted and um, take the engine over here then I'm going to start on this one and I'm going to rebuild it all up um, get it all running nicely and then eventually I'll start on this one, chip valve as you heard. I'll start on this one, which should um, be the last one I do because it's water cooled, it's messier, um, but faster. And then uh, clean them up, spray what I've got to spray. I mean, that's got brand new panels, if you remember right, I put them on there. And these I sprayed three years ago, and do you know what? I'm quite impressed, to be honest with you. I used to get stickers from this guy, Deckles, 307s all the time. And uh, it was really good. He was on eBay. Um, really nice fella. But um, yeah, it's gone. Now, doesn't do anymore. But battery's brand new on this one. Um, I've got to get a new battery. I've got my spare ones. And that one's got a dead battery. So again, spare parts. There's a couple of brand new batteries in there. So that will be for that. Right, okay. What I'll do is a part um, two and three problem this one. Four. Yeah, part one, two, th two one, two, three, four. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say. And I'll see if I can add them all together. I've realised you can do that on uh, YouTube now, so you haven't got to keep finding parts. 
So I'll do the, all of them and then I'll tell you how I got on and if I can show you bits and bobs, I will. Uh, a lot of people ask me little questions now on little bits and bobs like CDR units and luckily these are all, this is what I was going to say, they are not immobilised ones. Um, this one's not immobilised as well. Yep, yeah, non immobiliser. I know that was non immobiliser, so that makes my life a lot easier. Right, take care. Um, and if you've got any questions, ask. Check out my other videos, by all means. Lots of little moped ones. Um, and if I can help people, I will. Right, ta da.